more than maybe a toe front half. You know, it may never be anything harder than that. So I never, I always want to leave myself room to grow. Okay? Teach your kids how to fall. Okay? If there's one thing you do, we all have kids that have mental blocks. We all have kids that are afraid. It's natural. But if your gymnast knows how to fall, okay, they're going to be a lot more comfortable when they screw something up on the bar. Right? Before they learn a trick, teach, teach them how to fall. Okay? Everyone needs goals. The kids need goals. The gymnasts, you know, the gymnasts need goals. Coaches need goals. Okay? Communicate with them. Have clear expectations and requirements. Right? I have on my wall, okay, you know, a level nine in my gym is required to do this. It's beyond USA Gymnastics rules. It, 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 it's bigger than that. But these are your requirements. If you don't make those requirements, okay, you cannot be a level nine. A level 10 is this, a level 8 is this. It's all written out in black and white. You know how many phone calls I've had in the last five years since I started posting this from parents on why, how come my daughter isn't a level 9? Or how come? None. None. Because you didn't know. You know? You know, Christina, how come you're not a level 9? Well, I'm missing two of the requirements that are right there. The parent can't say anything to that. Like, okay. Oh, yeah. So I, I, I enjoy that part. Um, condition for success. We all condition our athletes. We all do a lot of strength training with our athletes. But do you tell them what it's for as you go? I need you to do this exercise. This is going to help you keep your feet up on bars. Oh, now that kid's going to work it a little bit more. Instead of, what are we doing? We're doing leg press. Why? You know, just do 20. You know? tell, tell them why. Tell them what it, it, what it relates to. Establish the basics for harder skills pretty early. And give them drills for those skills. Don't just teach to the code. Okay? Make sure you cover a wide variety of things. Okay? And in the end, in big bold print there, let them play. Okay? Give, them some, give them some goals. Give them some basics that they can do. And then see where they create. We need to have creativity in gymnastics. You can't look at everything being black and white. When I say let them play, I'm not saying, OK, go over there and be like monkeys on the bars. Okay? It, it, on our Friday workout, as I'll come here and meet before, my Friday workout year round, okay, do a routine, work goals. Okay? You know, and the kid comes to me, well, what should I do? What are your goals? Well, I decided I want to learn, you know, a double five five five. All right, let's do it. If they made it through their routine on a Friday in August, okay, let them go on and work goals. Any goals that they want. We didn't, I mean, I want to write a double leg pull out. That's nice. I like that too. You can practice your fly with your free swing spurts. Alright, so now we're into the meat of the thing. Okay? To be successful at bars, you really only need to have five skills to master. Your kip, your pass team and stand, your clear head stand, stand, your giant, and your fly. If you master those five things, okay, and you can manage the fear, Every other skill comes from that. Um, I'm going to show you some drills that we do for handstands. All right. Um, so let me grab. I'll grab Amanda. All right. We'll come over. Take a look over here. And we're talking with your developmental kids because they need to understand what a handstand feels like without balancing. All right. Why them on the ground? Okay. One of the things that I have in my gym, and if you go to the website, you can see this on the video. Um, one of the things that I have is I have this whole huge wall of mirrors, right? And what's so perfect about that is when she's in that shape, go back to that shape, all I have to say is look in your own eyes. And so she's looking in her own eyes there, so her head is neutral, her body's in great shape, okay? And that's what I like. So we'll go, all right, now I need to teach him to roll over. So I'll tell him, even, we're talking with like five and six year olds, turn one hand under. Yeah, and now roll to your back. And so she's already learning how to pirouette, but we're doing this right on the ground. Now, what I like, okay, turn sideways. Okay, doing it off a mat, it allows her ponytail to hang off the mat, and she's able to keep her head neutral. Because if her arms were up, and I just do it on the floor, it's kind of pushing her head down like that, and that's not helping her. I wanted to be able to see her hands. So you put that, you have her lie on a mat, okay, and she's in that handstand shape. Right. Everybody get that joke? I've never seen so many video things in my life. All the time. 
And I'll hold that, all right? I know it's a little harder on a rod floor because it's so soft, but what I'll do is I'll help her find balance, and then I'll move away, okay? So there's something small. I really don't like them to balance against an entire wall. Okay, step now. Okay. And with the littler kids, their toes will just barely touch that. So they're finding balance. And we'll do this in every grip. We'll do this in over grip. We'll do this in under grip. Um, girls, come on up here. We'll do this right now. I probably have about 10 floor bars in my gym. So we'll do just regular push-up position. Okay. Now stand on the other side. Bring your feet over here and go and do it in undergrip on the edge. And we'll just, okay, all right, you guys have such good form, but you have to remember I'm pretending you're five or six years old, so you look slow, you know? <laughs> you know? Yeah, there you go. And I go, okay, come on, tighten up your belly, get this up, you know, good, relax, okay? So, you know, okay, good. And in my gym, all the kids do this. We do this with all, all kids, good, relax. Um, they know the difference. You guys are smart. You know the difference between if something stretches and if something hurts in a bad way. Okay? Kids know that. Right? If, if uh, this is Kristen. If Kristen goes, you know, Tony, that kind of hurt my elbow. All right? So when we do L grip, you have to do under grip again. Because I don't want it to hurt. I'm not, yeah, I, I'm not Valari Lukin. Okay? You, you know, you can tell because my accent's different. I have to, <laughs> all right. Remind me where we're at. Right. A good friend of mine uh, was on the Bulgarian Olympic team. He moved from Boston to Arizona. I went to visit him down in Arizona, and I was coaching at his gym. And his kids go, now, you know Vasco from, from Boston? I said, yeah. They're like, how come his accent's different than yours? I'm like, well, he grew up in Bulgaria. I, I, grew, up in, <laughs> I grew up in New York. Until they're in a handstand. Did, did that hurt? Did Elder hurt any of you? I'm just going to take you closer. Can you just go under grip and you're going to pick up the handstand? Okay. So we would be here and we would basically be doing the same thing, handstands in under grip, okay, on a floor bar. And I would go back and I would help her try, just try to find balance. Good. One step down. Do you think you can do that now, Joe? Uh, okay. They're not very flexible. Doug, did it hurt? All right, so that's good. Then I'm I, I, yeah, that's all right. So if your elbows are a little bent in the beginning, if their elbows are a little bent in the beginning, that's fine. Um, you might want to watch how I spot because I'm kind of going to hold her by her ribs where I'm supporting. I'm, I'm going to. My goal is to support about half her weight initially because I don't want it to hurt her, especially if it's the first or second time she's done. So just go to elbow position. Let's see where you're at. Oh, that's fine. All right, yeah, kick up. So I'm going to kind of pull her into my shoulder. That's fine. That's fine. Good. Step down. Okay. So this is something that I would give her a station where she's not allowed to do handstands yet. Because did you see that she was basically doing a handstand on her pinkies? Not a lot of grips on that pinkies. You know, unless you make a new dowel over there. Okay. So, I'll, so she would just have to do just the push-up position. How is your pinkies for push-up position? Oh, you go Just kick up. Good. That's good. So I'm holding her. So her hands don't feel like they're slipping. All of our grip work, all right, just starting on floor. Um, folks, I'm real casual with things. If you have a question, if you want me to repeat something, okay, what's good about me not just following what's on my computer is I, I can do whatever you need, okay? So we'll do all this grip work, and then we'll do handstand parallels, all right? So you got to start down here. Oh, wait. Yeah, hands down. Great. Right. So what she's learning is how to lean over the bar. All right. Now you can see the benefits of taking your level, I'll say level five, but your five, six, seven year old, that they're understanding how to do this. Can you do that? But when you roll up, you're going to do it with your hand in under them. Yep. You roll up like that. Nobody lives forever. I wouldn't want anything more. And I'd like them to tuck up. Okay? So what she's going to learn how to do, um, as she's learning this, she's understanding how her shoulders need to come over the bar on the front giant. Right? Can you do 
And I'd like to tuck up, or do one more, and I want you to half a fairway up. Okay. Great. So you can see that we're, we're spending time. Now, what this is also doing is your little kids are doing this on a map, and you're working their kit. You know, that, that you've got this other station. Um, I want you to try an L grip. And can everybody hear me when I... I have this tendency when I'm talking to an athlete that I'm going to lower my voice. As a teaching tool, um, coaches, the quieter you get, the more your gymnast is actually going to pay attention. Right? Being over the top loud, okay, it's like yelling at them through a bullhorn. What's the point? If I tell her something quiet and she has to really listen, that's going to help. That's my degree in psychology. Okay. So if you miss an algebra, even if it doesn't go to hand stand, I'm OK. turn one way. Okay, that's all right. right. Um, so once they understand how to do it, they always finish the pass with a pirouette out. Right? They always go to forward roll up. Okay. And obviously, then we'll do the same thing all backwards. Now, I know this is a bar lecture, but we're using the floor right now. So we're going to go back and stand on this. Okay. Nobody wants to see me do it. I'm old. <laughs> Next one, parallels. <laughs> don't, don't worry about both ways. Okay? Um, so you're going to do a back extension while I'm going to spot. So in the air, or in the air, when you're in handstand, one hand is going to come down and touch your leg. Then we're going to do another one. The other hand is kind of stuck. Okay? So if your hand is away from you first, but back extension roll. Good. Back extension roll. Notice that I moved out of the way so I didn't get kicked. <laughs> right? But I'd like them to get clear you know, and, and, and really shift their weight, really get that to turn. Um, we'll do a lot of handstand walking as well. So you guys back up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sit down right there. Walk on your hands, don't hit it. <laughs> Don't hit me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Good, okay, come down. Sit down right there. No, 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 yeah, just right where you fell. Right there. Go ahead. <laughs> And sometimes we'll just take three steps. Okay. We'll do like three steps, go to undergrip, three steps, go to L grip, three steps. Okay. So anybody, oh yes. Yeah. 